Hey guys and welcome to this video on the cow opening. Now let's get right into it. What is a cow opening? It's very simple. You push your pawns, only one square, you bring in a knight, bring it out again, bring in the other knight, bring it out again. Why is this a decent opening? Well, it still allows you to bring in the bishops, granting them scope and coverage. Alternatively, you still have your knights that can come in and apply tons of pressure whilst also still having other pressure I guess to the outside. Alternatively you can push in a pawn knowing that it's covered, pushing a pawn knowing that it's covered in their current position they're still covered by the bishops and pawns so it's pretty solid rather defensive position it's not amazing probably, but it's also not bad. Like Anna Kremlin only came out with it yesterday. I've played some games with it, mostly against bots, one against the player, and yeah, it's steady at least. So uh, yeah, what else can you do? I mean, like I said, you can push in a pawn to regain the control over the center and you have the knight in support, both sides, like it's a very symmetrical play, but most plays are, most openings that are actually good are symmetrical, so good job. Uh, aside from that, yeah, like it has a lot of control, this is controlled by the pawns, this is controlled by the knights. The only thing that I did notice is that it's pretty weak against like um, diagonal plays so stuff like queen coming in well you know like queen coming in and then stuff like this or like bishops coming in on the same like i felt like this like the b4 square was my weakest square so keep in mind of that however that's easily solved because once you've, your bishop is there i mean for all kinds of purposes, b4 is, square, is covered, like, right, because once these are in here, if let's say the, the bishop somehow comes there, well, you just push in your pawn and there's no more threats. That's assuming that the queen somehow also is protecting or a pawn is protecting. Any other case, like, I mean, just take. You can just take with your, your own bishop, no problem. Also, the fact that it's, like, the play is so defensive that there almost is no counterplay. Like, you can just pre-move everything. And the biggest advantage of that is short castle and you can play from there on. Even if you don't, you don't even have to short castle, you can also just be like, well, whatever, I'll just bring in my knight back. Knight back here to reinforce the center. Though keeping out the knights is stronger due to that center play that I mentioned before. But yeah, that's my short analysis. Um, let's get into a bot game. Okay guys, so here's a review of a game of me versus the Dingley Ren bots. As you can see, I just started with the typical opening, developing my pawns, developing my knights. Now, this apparently is one big issue. Because, I mean, the pawn is attacking, and normally I would continue development. They obviously take the free, pawn, the free knight, and I could take back, doubling up my pawns, or uh, take back. But if I take back with the pawn, then I open up my rook, I can't take back, and at that point I could even just take my bishop and the only option I would have would be either to take back with the knight so I can still castle long or to take back with king and losing my right to castle. Neither is actually that great though I guess taking back with the knight allows me to continue my cow opening on the right leaving me with a, leaving me with a one horned cow but instead I opted to move out my 
night, which apparently was a fail, was a blunder. Now, it was because I just gave it away. Though I was still experimenting, so I was like, you know what? Let's just continue with the cow opening, which apparently the engine thought was the Van Kruis or Van Kras, as Dutch people would call it, opening. So um, I kept playing. Pawn came in. I knew I couldn't take because it would double up the pawns, uh, allowing the bishop to take. Bishop takes back, rook takes, all those problems would ensue. So I took the um, bishop, engine liked the pawn push more, which would make sense because, well, like I said, pawns reinforced, they take, it would open up some stuff here I suppose, not really sure why. Anyway, I personally would have preferred this pawn to push because, well, similar idea, but the knight is reinforcing that. Anyway, I kept playing, normal moves, normal plays, nothing too special. Applying some more pressure. Ding Luren being Ding Luren, no problem sacrificing a queen for a rook. Because obviously they promoted, I completely forgot about that. Then I became a bit desperate, made some plays. Apparently none of them actually were bad, which still is mind-boggling to me to, up to this point. I kept playing. Plays still were best or excellent, but Ding Liren, after me blundering this knight over there, simply pushed me aside and eventually won the game because yeah I at this point I was like yeah let's just yeah so yeah that's my experience with the cow so far and um, I hope you liked it let me know in the comments what you think of it what I should do differently for the opening reviews anyway more on the cow um, yeah it's fun it's quirky it's new perhaps like yeah be careful of like pawn pushes Perhaps bring back the knights to the center, keeping that center strong, developing the other side first, or creating your own counterplay, having the bishop open from the side, stuff like that. There's plenty of options. Like, it's a solid position. It's a solid core to start from with lots of variations that probably will show up the next few days. I'm especially looking forward to whoever is going to claim the beef or the steak variant. Uh, but yeah, all the variations, they're going to be fun. I feel like the cow opening is the new bond cloud, and the bond cloud still is new, so let's see where it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment below with whatever you think I should do differently, or what you liked about it, and see you next time. Bye.